This is the story of a boy with a very unusual name who was about to live a very unusual life. He lived on this planet, but had no idea that he wouldn't be living there much longer. He also had no idea who his parents were because he was an orphan. And although the orphanage where he lived was more like a luxury hotel, the other kids there were horrible. They would tease him about his name, the way that he spoke, and his obsession with nature, and especially space. He didn't even have one friend. Not much of a life, was it? Little did he know, however, that his life was soon about to change. And this is where our story begins. One warm spring evening, while taking a stroll through the forest. Whoa! Like, what the? Ah, human! Hey, yo, wait a minute! No, please. Please don't kill me. Whoa, easy there, little guy. I'm not gonna hurt you. You're not? But... But you were chasing me. Like everybody else does. Oh, yeah, sorry about that, man. I wasn't thinking. I didn't mean to freak you out, it's just... Well, I've seen all kinds of stuff in this forest, but I've never seen anything like you before. I only wanted to get a closer look. So you're... not going to hurt me? Or turn me in? Um, no. Why would I do that? Because people are after me. Everybody thinks I'm evil. Didn't you see the wanted signs? Uh, I guess not. So you never heard of the infamous TD before? Oh, I don't know, man. I don't even know who I am myself. You don't know who you are? Not really. Kind of far out. But the earliest thing I can remember is waking up in this forest one day with my mind totally gone. Everything before that's just a blur. The only thing I could remember was my stupid name. Uh, speaking of names, I guess your name's TD, right? Yep, that's me. So what's your name? Uh, Moonfish. <laughs> what? Really? Yeah, I hate it. So, what was that you were saying earlier about people thinking you're evil or something? You don't look evil, you're so cute and cuddly. That's cause I'm not evil. But my creator certainly was. I was created by this mad scientist. He created me to be his lab assistant. But something went wrong, and instead of being evil, I was good. And I didn't want to do any of that stuff. And when I kept refusing to help, he threw me out. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Yeah, but that's a real bummer, man. And he sounds like a real jerk. He is. But the thing is, because he made me, everybody thinks I'm some kind of demonic entity that's gonna rip out your soul while you sleep. Really? No, I'm not. Like I said, I hate wickedness. But no one believes me. They all chase me and try to kill me. So I thought I'd hide here where I thought nobody would find me. And then you came along. Don't worry about it, man. I won't rat you out. I believe you. You know that stuff you were saying about not being evil? It's kind of weird, but I kind of got this sixth sense that tells me when people are lying. I'm glad I finally found a friend, man. Yeah, who? You, dummy. Actually, you're my only friend, so I guess that makes you my best friend. So how come no one else likes you? I don't know. Everyone just thinks I'm a freak. It's not like I get up and do weird stuff in front of them, but, I don't know, they all just hate on me for no reason whatsoever. But you're not weird. You're nice. I know, but nobody cares. You know what is weird? I come here a lot. Nature's just awesome, man, but I've never seen you around here before. Yeah, I try to keep hidden. Wish I didn't have to live out here, though. At least back at the lab I had a roof over my head. 
I've seen you come through here a few times, though. I got it. How about you live with me in my room at the orphanage? But I can't go there. There's other people there. So? So they'd see me? Not if I sneak you in somehow and hide you real good. There's like a bazillion places you could hide in my room. It's gotta be better than living out here, right? Okay, but how are we gonna get in? Hmm... This looks too obvious. Yep. Wait, this time I really got it. How about we... Okay, you cool with that? So just hang here and I'll be back in a flash. Hey look, the stupid hippie's back. Yeah, back from fishing on the moon, right? I'm just, like, going somewhere to, uh, read. Nerd! TD, I'm back. Yo, TD, you here, man? Oh, there you are. What you doing up there? Well, you told me to hang here. But how did you... Never mind. I got this backpack now so you can hide in it while I take you home. You know, like we said we would. Okay, then. You okay? Yeah, I'm a robot, remember? I can't get hurt. Did you nerd up enough, nerd? Yeah, stupid nerd. Stupid hippie nerd. Cool it, man. Do you want everyone to find you? He's talking to his backpack now. Yeah, what a freak. Okay, like, all clear. Here we are. This is my pad. Pretty groovy, huh? Oh wow, you play guitar? Yeah, I'm gonna be a superstar one day. Gotta say, I can shred real good, but they kinda get a bit mad if I do it here, so when I wanna practice, I have to go out in the forest. Go on, play something. Maybe if I play something quiet, they won't mind. Hey, stop that noise! What did we tell you? You see? I didn't know you could float. That's pretty cool. It's one of the features my creator installed into me. Works really well for hiding up in the trees, too. Hey, like, could you go up into space like that? I don't know. I never tried. Man, I'd love to go up into space. You do? More than anything. It's like, well, I don't know, but like, every time I look up at the night sky, I just get this feeling. Like it's calling out to me or something. Like that's where I belong. So I decided I'll be an astronaut when I grow up. But I thought you wanted to be a rock star. Well, there's that too, but you know what's really weird? I kind of feel like I used to actually be up there, you know? In space. And I mean like, living in space. Weird, huh? Maybe you were born to be an astronaut or something. I don't know, man. Like, I guess we'll find out in the future episodes. I know one thing, TD. I think this is the start of a beautiful friendship. <laughs>